you are now reacting to the main vocalist of EXO. You've also seen him perform with Super M. Um, this is one of the guys Jae Young screams over. Oh my god, my king. Oh. Okay. One of the daddies of K-pop. <laughs> would you would you say he's just the daddy or like the, the daddiest? Daddies. I would say one of the daddies. I feel like okay. I feel like the daddy of all daddies is like definitely RM or Jungkook. Yeah. Okay. As far as like <laughs> straight okay. like RM. giving I, I you RM. know like yeah. birth. <laughs> yeah, as as a daddy as a giving daddy, birth. Like or maybe more of like just causing <gasps> birth. Well, actually, one of the EXO members did have a child, so I think he needs to be up there too. His all name right. is Chen. This is a B-side song released on his 2021 Bambi album. The lyrics are about the power of love that captivates a person. And boy, do I have the power of love for today's sponsor. NordVPN is a virtual private network that can mask your presence online so that malware and hackers can't detect or harm you. With their latest feature of threat protection, NordVPN becomes a protective mask for your computer that hides your IP address and encrypts your website traffic to keep you safe from intrusive ads, trackers, and infected files that you may have accidentally downloaded. To get NordVPN today, check out the special offer we have for you. Click on the link in the description or go to nordvpn.com to use the promo code REACTTHEK to get a discounted two year plan and one month of free use. Thanks again to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Now to finish the reactions intro script. Haekhyun sings, yeah, can you give me a half of your heart? I won't ask you to give me everything. You are the owner of this love. All I need is you and your love. The song is composed by Tone Stiff. Let's give it all we've got. It's all we got. Baekhyun. Three. Two, one. Oh, listen to this beat. This is a daddy beat. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is oh. what I'm saying, man. Oh, this is what I'm saying. Blow my mind at the beginning, won't you? Oh, talk oh, to yeah. me. That's an electronic drum set for sure. Yeah. Okay, that organ in the back is really nice with the electric piano and this guitar pattern. I'm listening. I'm listening. <laughs> the funk guitar. Honey, it's in my ears. And the echoed ambience on the guitar, too. Gung, 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 gung. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that just arpeggiation of the bass. Dum, 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 dum. Ooh, ooh. Jesus. Sounds like something you would sing. <laughs> Good harmony. Sounds like there's a female harmony, harmony on there too, singing. Oh! There's a really, oh, really nice, like, church organ synth on there. So nice. Oh. I'll praise. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. All right. I can't tell if that's head voice or if it's like if he's belting or if it's chest voice. Like, damn. Also, just the production on the vamp is just like really well orchestrated. Like from event to event. Like even though it's just like an eight-bar vamp. I love the fluid motion of the background chords. It's mm. not solid blocks. It's like very. Fluid, right. overlapping, like In fish flux. in a stream. Mm. Yeah. Oh! This whole acapella section is getting to me! Ooh, that... Why does it keep going higher? Mm. 
Oh. <laughs> wow. Wow. He's hot. <laughs> Don't talk to me, sing to me. Jeez, why would I want you to talk? You just keep singing. Yes, Lord. Sick. Wow. That was fire. I didn't expect this from him, but I did expect this from him. You know what I mean? First of all, his voice does just not change. It only gets better. His voice sounds so similar to like growl era, I guess. It, it sounds exactly the same, which is which means that like he has a style. He has his, he knows his voice. But it just gets better, and he's able to like embellish with like riffs and everything so well. And his range is just crazy. Well, we all knew his range was crazy. What elements of this song are you like? Yeah, this works for me. I think I just well, I don't know. There's just something nice about listening to someone that can actually sing and well. Like, not that you ever show us people, because I don't think they go into like the K-pop industry if they can't sing. First off, but when someone's like extraordinarily talented at it, that's cool. Um, he tracks all of his own vocals. You can tell. Yeah. That's impressive. That he's adding harmonies and layering it in. And that's just him standing in the studio doing that. And hearing all of those things and how it's going to work together. You know, as simple as the instrumental is, definitely, like what you said before, like his voice just makes it a thousand times better. Whoever produced this did a great job of like, you know, layering in different textures in the background. So there are like some string pads, at one point, and then like at one point, like at the peak of the song, there was like him singing, and then him riffing over it, and then there's also like a piano soloing, and then there's also the fake bass, like playing some fills. I think all of this is MIDI keyboard. That'd suck if it was real, and they're like, oh dang, this music snob thinks it's fake. But anyways, it was the same like harmonic content as at the beginning when it was just like keys, bass, drums, and like just like there, it was like a great instance of like of just like using orchestration to highlight what's important rather than using new compositional material to highlight what's important. So rather than like, you know, like having some kind of like written out thing that builds up into the verse, they use textures to build up into the verse. This was m like mesmerizing. He's the Daniel Caesar of K-pop. Yes, that's what I was thinking. He's the it's Daniel fantastic. Caesar of Korea. Um, I like through the video, I kind of talked about like the textures of like the how many things were layered, but I think something that's harder to hear that I just kind of went through was, I think one of the most powerful usages of sound that they did with this was the uh, yes the vocal harmony, but through the verses and even the chorus, that church organ synth that was in the beginning is laying out the chord progression, almost panned left and right sometimes, underneath all of these layered sounds. And it's, it's just kind of there to like make the sound much denser and to like accentuate where we are in like the progression. And then that along with the vocal harmony made, made it this just like this, oh, this transcendent effervescent just quality of, of godliness. It was gorgeous. It's very pretty. It, and that's, that's the thing is what it should be evoking because this is very reminiscent and, and um, inspired by the gospel style, you know, R&B and um, R&B, and this has a lot of tinges of funk in there too. But a lot, but most of that and these, these progressions too come from the gospel, like style and genre, and so it's paying homage to um, that style of music. For me, it sounded like you know this guy obviously checked out a lot of like. R&B, which was cool. I, I was into it, but I felt like I wasn't necessarily, I don't want to say this term, but like convinced that he was really like feeling everything that he's saying because I, I feel like he would like have these really high riffs and it's like, yeah, that's cool. But I felt like it would happen so often to where it's like, what's the purpose of this? Why are you just adding this in right here? Cause like when you hear like actual like R&B, when they're like doing those riffs, it like, there's a lot that like goes into why that's happening there. Especially with D'Angelo, like, cause I, he he can really sing, which is really cool. I just felt like, as far as just the emotion and honesty aspect of it, I wasn't really connecting with because I felt 
that he could have had more just um, of a gradual build into what he was doing. Or I was gonna say it came in too early. Yeah, yeah or like, yeah, or the just, riffing came in too early. Yeah, it was just like when he first came in, I was like, okay, you're doing this because you can show us that you can, rather than there's a real purpose and a meaning behind it. Everything was just, it was just a pure display of this man's God-given talents and you know what he, of course like what he's developed it into because it's like when you hear him like go like that high into his range that early on you know he's not holding anything back ain't playing no games i think my favorite part was like towards the end where you have all these different lines interweaving you have the keyboard fluttering in textures you have the background vocals not doing like block chords everyone's kind of like flowing and entering and like it it was a very like fluid, like the drums, like the drums of the beat exist to keep it all together, but I loved how playful and interactive all the lines were. You know what that reminds me of? What's that was up? so beautiful. You know like in Baroque music, like yes. fugues. Fugues. Or like, you know, this idea of like um, polyphony interdependent voices. Voices that are can be independent on their own. You know, you could just like Absolutely. bring out Absolutely. one of those voices and be like, that's a song, you're like, great but he adds in different voices and they're all strong. That's a um, great way to put it, actually. Yeah, That's it, a really like, great way to put like it. It's like this tapestry, like embroidery of just like all these things like coming together. And you don't know where it's going, but it feels really good and it feels beautiful. But his vocal runs, I'm not gonna say anything because we have vocalists to say things. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like 90% of that reaction was like not even words. Flashback. <laughs> End of flashback. Yeah, I just went through extreme hormonal changes. <laughs> I think it's super effective because, you know, you're saying I'm going to give you all I got and there's a few different ways you could go about that. You know, like high belts, long sustained belt, just speaking it, you know, or like there's so many different ways, but to choose to riff <laughs> makes sense. I feel like that's a really cool choice. In expressing how he is feeling. Yeah, that felt a lot like um, like just a beat track, and you freestyle over it, like for for like freestyle rap CD. But instead of like just laying out bangers and like bars, you're just laying out riff after riff after riff after high note after high note. After. I didn't feel like we got a break from a high note that entire time. He was sitting way up in his high test tour the entire time, and it fe felt painful. <laughs> To like have to support your breath like that the entire time, but he's got it. He's got the chops. And holy crap! Again, I don't feel like I could have. Br I didn't feel like I could breathe until after that. He literally stole your breath. No, he was like holding no, my breath yeah, for yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. He like took time. it and just held it. <laughs> like I'm gonna give this back after I sing. Yeah. I also noticed a lot of phrases. He would fall off at the end, like conversationally, which I think was super effective too. Like for me, this is. I recently watched a video where another vocalist talks about you need to pick the right moments to add your ad libs and your riffs, but this was just constant riffing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it also, in your guys' mind, was successful in conveying emotion and a message, and it wasn't too much. Well, that's the thing though. I mean, like, when there's this much riffing, I mean, I always care about the message, but when, you, when there's an instrument like that, like a voice, you're just listening to the instrument. They could be saying anything. Oh, it's like a cadenza and a solo. This is yeah. really just the cadenza of the album where you, you get to show off. There's a certain type of like luxurious quality to his voice, um, you know, and his ability to like just scale up and down, you know, like, like the widest imaginable range for the male voice and just really like hit all of those like those really like those luscious notes. It was just like this sense of like rocking back and forth. It, there was no sense of urgency. It was just like, I'm here, you know, um, and I'm sexy <laughs> and you're going to listen to me. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> I will. I can put, I can put him up for his money. How high does he go in this? C6? I can't do that for shit. Mm. 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 Mm.